Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another basic banjo lesson with Willow. This week we're gonna work on one of my favorites, the first part of Farewell Blues. All right, now I do have a Patreon as well as a digital PayPal tip jar linked in the description box down below if you'd like to donate a little bit to help support these lessons. Let's do it. Okay, so the most important thing to note about this song is that our fourth string, which is normally tuned to D, is tuned to C, okay? <laughs> So open, your banjo should sound like this. Oh yeah. It's one of my favorite tunings to play out of. It's so beautiful. Okay, so our beginning is gonna sound like this. Our little intro is. So we are playing out of our C shape, which is now omitting the fourth string because it is tuned to C, okay? So, We've got our um, second and first string fretted. We're gonna pinch two and one. Then we're gonna hammer off, do a little pull off, um, the third string on the second fret. Okay. So pinch two and one together, pull off, two and one together again. Okay. And then we're gonna do that same thing two more times. And then we're just going to hit the uh, the third string second fret without pulling off twice. Well, you're gonna hit it once, then pinch, and then hit it again, and then pinch. <laughs> so it's kind of like a trade off um, for that little little intro. So here's what it sounds like. Cool. So then we go three open that uh, second fret third string again and hit our second string which is um, still in our C position then we're gonna be into the actual song so here we go we're going to slide into this position here we're gonna be sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret and we're gonna be holding our middle finger um, on the second string third fret and have our ring finger right beside it on the first string and then we're gonna hit two <laughs> And then one once we get to the fifth fret. So, and then five two one. Put our pinky on the sixth fret second string. Five two one again, and then let that go. And then five two one again. Five. Then we're gonna do a little walk down. We're just going to take that same position, go to the fourth fret, two and one pinch, back to the third fret. And then back to our C shape. Okay, so here it is. Okay, now we're gonna do kind of a variation of a G run. It's just a C run because we're in C. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, so you're gonna hit your uh, second string. So two, five, two, one, three. And then I like to do a little bend there once you hit the um, fourth string in the second fret. Okay, and then hit it open. And I like to catch the first string in between the bend and the uh, the fourth string open. You don't have to do that if you, if you don't want to, but there's an option for you. So here's what that sounds like. Cool. All right. And then we're going to go back to what we just did and do that again. Five, two, one, five, two, one. Then we're going to be sliding up into our A shape down here. Then we're going to do a reverse roll. So. going to do a little A chord up here um, on the second fret and you're gonna do you know your little bar here so we're just going from A to A another reverse roll then we're going to go to a D chord um, but our D is gonna look like so you're gonna have your 
middle or your index finger barring across all four strings in the second fret then you're going to take your middle finger to the um, third fret second string and then your pinky to the fourth fret first string okay and then you're going to go a reverse roll you guessed it and i like to start it on the fourth string i think it sounds nice and then you're just going to go up slide everything up one fret little suspension little um keep us on edge Ooh, what's gonna happen <laughs> so here we go and then what does happen is that we just go which we already know and so that is it and now I will play it for you slowly Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment or a like, and I'll catch you next time.